Waking Up with... <laughs> Shivraj Prashad, your host on Good Morning Grammar. Now this show is really all about you. If you hear someone using poor grammar, pronunciation or just enunciating ideas poorly, instead of being rude and correcting them, just turn them over to our Good Morning Grammar experts. Now it's time for Monday Musings with Chara Franeker. I'm sure most of you all, or many of you all, I don't want to be presumptuous, but many of you all, would have sent out mails or a message or a WhatsApp message or on a phone call or on a video call to ask someone for something or just pose the question and the person says, I will get back to you in some time. Jesus, what is some time? How vague is that? What really, really gets me upset with something like that is the open-endedness of an answer like that. Sometimes means nothing. That could mean 6 hours, 5 minutes, 16 days, 10 days, 1 week or never. Because sometime is any time. That's like destiny. That's like life. Like you don't know when it's going to end. It's so weak. It's so disrespectful. An answer like that has absolutely no respect for you. Who's asked for something? Yeah, if the person doesn't have an answer, just say, hey man, I don't know. You know, I, don't, I can't get back to you in this. And in case you even vaguely know that you can get the answer or can respond in something or deliver on something that needs to be delivered. And it's going to take you six days or six hours, say, eight hours, ten hours. Be somewhat sure of approximately how much time you're going to take. Sometime, baby, means nothing. So I would say it's like, just keep it simple, darling. You just need to be somewhat definitive in your response to a question that requires some form of an answer that reassures the person that you would get back to them and within a certain. So the person can plan what they need to do next, plan whether they want to wait for you or not. If you have any questions, if you want to clarify anything, you want to have a fun conversation with me, anything like that, get in touch with me at Facebook or Instagram or Twitter and just drop me a line out there and I will surely get back to you definitively and not in some time. Be sure of that. Until then, see you next Monday for more musings on Good Morning Grammar. I hope what you heard was useful. But we'd love to hear from you as well. You too can feature on any episode by sending in your requests or feedback with a voice message on WhatsApp on plus 919625475442 or via email at shivraj at brevis.in. We'd be happy to read out your message here or even play it on an entire Friday special episode. Have a good day and stay tuned for another fresh episode of Good Morning Grammar.